Hi, I'm AJ. I'm part of the customer success team at Harbour. So I would like to walk through the process of using the Azure portal to connect um, and import your accounts. So you'd come over to um, Add Environment and you'd be presented with um, Amazon, Azure or Google Cloud. So obviously we are working with Azure here and we need some credentials here. So we need the subscription ID, tenant ID, client ID, and we also need to create a secret key. And we can give it an optional name. So we've got this documentation which can be found on our documentation knowledge base. And there are quite a few steps required to allow Harbor to access your Azure resources using the portal. So we'll jump in and we'll get started. Um, so jumping into your Azure dashboard, you will need to you'll need to create an Active Directory application first. So what we can do is use the search bar up the top here to search for Active Directory, and we just select it from the menu. And then down on the left hand side, we need to select app um, registration. So down on the left side here, we can go to app registration. And then we want to um, click on add new registration. So just up here. And here, um, this is where we come down to the next step, which is registering an application. So we just type in Harbor. Um, by default, it looks like web is selected. If not, just select it from the drop down menu. And we need to put in the URL. So this is the Harbor login URL. And we need to make sure that does have HTTPS. So HTTPS app.harbor.io forward slash login and then click register. So now this is registered, we need to a, um, assign a role to the application. So in this step, basically um, we need to add a role for the application at a subscription level, and this will grant Harbor access to read everything in your account. And it is read-only access, so it's we're not there to make any changes. Um, you can also apply access to specific resource groups and things like that and Harvard will only draw the resources you do give it access to so if you need to restrict that you can. Um, so again just jumping up the top using the search bar if we type in subscriptions select that from the menu. So on this screen here basically you're going to have a list of your subscription name. So in this case, we want to assign it to this free trial. Um, we'll be presented with the screen here. So while we're in the subscription, we want to come over to the IAM access control. So now we are adding a role assignment. So we come over to access control, click up on add and add role assignment. And then on the right hand side from this drop down menu here, we want to select reader. And here we want to type in Harvard. So this is what we just created in the last step. So if we select Harvard, we can see now this is a selected member and we hit save. Now that that is set up, we need to grab the um, the keys that are required. So to start off, since we're in subscription, we'll grab the subscription ID. So we just literally come up to overview and we grab the subscription ID from here. Then we jump back over into Harbor, paste that in, jump back over to the Azure dashboard. And now we want to find the application ID and the tenant ID. So to do that, we need to go back into the Azure Active Directory. So we'll come down to recent services and in here on the um, left hand side again, we want to click on the app registration. 
on the list here, we'll see the registered app that we done earlier. So we can see there's the client ID there, but if we open this up, inside we have the application ID, which is the client ID. So we'll copy that, bring that over to Java, make sure you put it in the client ID section. And then we can get the tenant ID, copy that, bring that over, paste that in. And the last step is to create that secret key. So still in the same section under the app, under the app registration section, we need to um, click on certificates and secrets. So we'll click on here. So we click on certificate and secrets and down at the bottom here we have client secret. So we want to add new client. And then here you can give it any description you want, um, but in this case sort of Harvard access key makes sense. Um, we want expiry to be set to never and then click add. So now that the client secret's there down at the bottom right hand side, we can copy that to clipboard, come over, enter in um, the secret key. You can give this an optional name here. So this is the friendly name that you'll see on the right hand side to identify um, the sources that are imported to your Harbor account. I'll just leave this blank for now to de demonstrate what the default would look like. So once that's done, we hit import and it will go through the process. So up the top here, we can see that that's the default one, but we can actually come in and change that name there later and edit the credentials. Um, so while we just wait for that, we can come in here and just call this Azure import, hit enter. Oh, sorry, you click the yes there. And now we can see Azure import there. So that has started to, uh, that has imported, it hasn't quite finished, there we go, it has just rendered the image there on the tile. So now we can click in here and we can have our interactive diagram.